Alright, Tim and Jamie here from EarCandyCabs.com. Um, get a lot of emails about speaker ohm loads, like uh, how do I how do I test the ohm load of my speaker? Well, on eminent speakers, they're not really visible. There's a rubber ring on the eminence that if you lift up, there's a label right there. And it'll tell you right there, 8 ohms. Uh, I don't know if you can really see that with the camera, but there's a sticker on all the magnets on the eminent speakers underneath the rubber ring, which tells you how, what the ohm load is. But if you just want to test it for fun or whatever, or if you have a speaker that doesn't have the ohm load uh, clearly printed on it, all you need is a multimeter. And uh, when I email that information to people, it, it intimidates them a little because they're like, oh, I just spent 80 bucks on a multimeter. But no, you really don't. You can get a multimeter from Walmart or um, Radio Shack for uh, seven or eight bucks. Uh, they take a nine volt or two AAA batteries, which lasts like forever unless you accidentally leave it on. And uh, you just want to turn the multimeter to the 2000 setting in the area of the little ohm symbol or it's like the omega symbol or whatever just turn it to the 2000 setting and take the leads and you'll just you know red is positive black is negative the positive and negative terminals are uh, labeled on the speaker tabs so you'll just stick the positive to the positive tab and the negative to the negative tab and you'll see that it comes up 7 ohms uh, for a more accurate reading which really doesn't mean anything when you're testing you could turn it to the 200 se setting and you'll see it comes up 7.6 ohms now no two speakers are the same no 10 speakers are the same whatever I could have a dozen eminence Swamp Things, a dozen Celestian Vintage 30s, any speaker model identical, you could order them all at the same time, and you could test them all, and they'll all come up a couple, you know, tenths of an ohm or even a couple ohms different from one end of the spectrum or the other in the speakers that you're testing. So no two speakers are exactly the same as far as the ohms are concerned, and if you're looking at speaker chart information, uh, that's referenced under... Um, what's called RE uh, that's that's the more accurate or descriptive exact ohm load but on average 8 and 16 is close enough for you to figure out what to set your amp to but that's how you test the ohms of the speaker it doesn't matter what size it can be a tiny little 4 inch speaker same thing even if the tabs aren't marked positive and negative just go ahead and stick a, stick the tabs of the meter on there, and uh, you'll come up with the ohm. You know, it'll tell you one way or the other. 7.6. This is an 8 ohm speaker. So, like I'm saying, 8 ohms is just a, a rating to, to tell you what it's close to. The RE is actually what it is. They're not all the same. All you need is seven or eight dollar multimeter from Walmart or Walgreens or Radio Shack. Any of the home repair shops have them. Uh, come in handy for a lot of things and that's how you test the ohms of a speaker regarding testing them in a cab um, I kind of cheated here and made this I use this all the time I saw I took a speaker cable and stripped the other end off of it and soldered it to the end of my multimeter leads so I can just plug it into a cabinet uh, if you don't want to cut the end of a speaker cable off uh, just plug the speaker cable into the cabinet while it is not plugged into an amplifier. Don't have anything in any of the parallel ins or outs or stereo ins or outs or any of that stuff. Just take one single speaker cable into a cabinet that's not powered by an amplifier and stick the red tip of the multimeter lead on the tip of the cable and the black lead of the multimeter on the sleeve of the cable and that will give you the ohm load of the cabinet and in a nutshell that's testing ohm loads on speakers thank you for watching if you have questions please feel free to ask or post a video response uh... we're more than happy to shoot a video response and uh... have a great day